Hi guys, welcome to C2C uh, Mentors. My name is Ketan. This video is going to be about how do you increase your score, rather how do you increase your percentile in points step by step. Now, before I move ahead, I want to give you some disclaimer or rather you know, we have this premise wherein um, rather on, on, on the basis of which I am giving you all this analysis. So number one, uh, number one is that definitely you have to understand the level of difficulty because you cannot decide your attempts if you do not know the level of difficulty, right? Now, with respect to that, I am going to come up with a next video when I am going to tell you that okay, what will be your ideal attempt in 2019. But keeping that part aside, I want you all to try this out in your mocks right now. You have whatever like 80, 90 days. Now, why am I telling you this? Because this strategy, I actually disclosed this one in Pune, Mumbai, Delhi and Bangalore. I waited for some time to get the feedback from students and trust me, people have actually moved from 70 to 90 and from 80 to 95, 97 also. And that's the reason here is, here is the strategy for you. So, when you start your paper, right? I think the most common mistake that we do with quantitative ability is that we just take the question, you know, you just, just take the question, you try to do trial and error, and then you feel that, you know what, this is not Sometimes you feel that, you know what, my forte is arithmetic. My forte is, let's say, numbers, or I know modern maths very well, I know algebra very well. I only want to go ahead and knock off those questions only. So what happens in this strategy is that you spend a lot of time in hunting for those questions, in searching for those questions, right? This is something you don't have to do. Again, you take questions, spend a lot of time, it is not something advisable. My strategy says that if I were you, what I will do is basically, or the ideal way to attempt your QA is basically, start with your section. So let's say you started with your question, right? First question that you have, which is nothing, but let's say it's from arithmetic. You have to take a call. Can you do this? Let's say in two or three minutes. You can do this, right? Take it, crush it, as simple as that. Fine. So question number one, Bangya. The moment you feel, a thoda sa bhi agar aapko doubt hai, ki shayad se nahi hoga, leave that. Leave that. The moment you believe or the moment you feel, even for one or two seconds, ki shayad se nahi hoga, leave it. Because wo shayad matlab ho gai nahi. Trust me, or hoga to bhi 10 minutes spend karne ke baad hoga. So I look at a question, prima facie, dekha, ek, you know, feeling aga hai kar sakta hoon, karo, photo, nikro, fine, so one, done, second, left, third, left, four, do it, aa jayega, kar lo, number five, number six, number seven, now, the strategy is, the moment you start your paper, out of 34, out of 34 questions, which is given to you in points, your main target should be, the moment you begin, your main target is, eight to ten questions, this should be your range that you must solve these many questions. Now, why am I telling you this? Because even if you solve these many questions, you should be round about close to or above 80 percentile. Again, disclaimer de raho mein, ye chise ch mein agle video mein clear karne wala hu. But for the fact that you are writing your mocks now on a D day also, this is what will help you a lot. But again, a disclaimer hai ki again, you need to check LOD and all that. So, pehla apka target hona chahiye 8 to 10 questions, bare minimum. Because 8 to 10 questions is a good start to go ahead. Now, if you look at 8 to 10 questions, which is round about 28%, 25 to 28% ka paper, itna to aana hi chahi, itna to banta hai banta hai. You know, with your preparation, I think you must get those many questions correct. No taking chance, no trial and error, getting them absolutely correct. So if I say, agar 10 questions get me out of 34, you have liberty to leave 24 questions and only attempt 10 questions in one hour. Even if you attempt 10 questions in one hour, in worst to worst scenario, you should be able to get more than 80% time. Aapka IM share cut off nickel gaya. As simple as that. Now, so the first thing is that this strategy is a bucketing strategy, right? Likewise, I will be telling you for LRD also. Likewise, I will be telling you for VA also. This is only for quants, moving from 80 to 99. So the moment you're done with your 10 questions, like you checked it, you kind of, you know, saw it, uh, you, you looked at a question, chronological order. Question number one, aiga karo, two, nahi aya, chodo, third, nahi jamega, chodo, fourth, aiga karo, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight. Now the moment you're done with 10 questions, your next strategy should be two more questions. Simple. You are not going to go for arithmetic, logarithm, PNC, trigonometry, all that stuff. You are not going to do that. Because on a D-Day, you don't know what is going to be good for you, what is going to be bad for you. I mean, koi bhi section tough ho sakta hai, koi bhi section easy ja sakta hai, right? So, if you have done arithmetic or algebra, you have 25 questions with you. Have. You have 25 questions. Out of 25 questions, 10 questions are basically manageable. You can definitely do them in one hour. So, let's say you are a very good student. 
you could do those 10 questions in 15 minutes again now if you're an iitn or if you're an nitn or if you're somebody who is damn pro with quads you know what you don't even have to take a call question number one done two done tap 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 you're sorted so if you're that kind of a student life is good for you but let's say if you're not that kind of a student if you're an average student then you should be actually hunting for questions but then chronological order don't go with segment give me arit 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 nahi karunga ya fir give me log 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 don't do that so 10 questions hone ke baad two more questions you're only going for two more questions which will give you 100 percent accuracy now remember solving 20 questions solving 20 questions getting 10 correct and solving 10 questions getting 10 correct you i mean the second guy will be more ahead than somebody who solves 10 uh, 20 questions and get only 10 questions you get it my point so that's the fundamental right now next attempt two question so let's say out of 34 you got 10 questions you have 24 questions Usme se do question karne hai. whatever 40 you have whichever 40 you have jo to mein lehega, you know what ye questions mein kar sakta hu ek bar aapka 10 question ho gaya 8 to 10 question ek bari aapne kar li you are in the game remember that you are in the game now take baby step two questions okay i got it 12 question awesome can I get two more questions? Okay, let me hunt for two questions. In 2018, CAT paper who wants 20 questions was a great attempt for 99.99% error. I'm only talking about 10 to 12 questions. So yes, you got 10 questions, then second lap, two questions, third lap, two more questions. 14 questions that you have done with let's say 90 to 100% percent accuracy, you are there in the game. After that, after that, you, you saw out about there are 20 more questions but out of 20 questions you can't do anything that's possibility number one out of 20 you can't do anything okay both rare hoga ek do question banne chahiye okay possibility number two 14 questions karte karte ek ghanta khatam ho gaya paper khatam ho gaya chale ga koi tension nahi hai right possibility number three i might get one more question let's say aapne pehle 14 questions kare aapne pehle 14 questions kare it took 15 minutes now you are left with 10 minutes. Can you take one question? 14 hoge, but you have to be question. Out of those 20 questions, can you take one question and solve that in 10 minutes? 15 questions you are solved with 90 to 100% accuracy. You are 90%, you are actually 95% and plus. The problem is that if you are going for 34 questions and if you pre decided that I'm gonna hit 18 20 question, that's not gonna happen if you are not really good with quants or if you have quants phobia. So, this is a great strategy. 8 to 10 question pehle karne hai, fir wo aadhe ghande mein ho, ek ghande mein ho, paper khatam ho gaya, toh bhi chalega. But 8 to 10 karte nahi karne hai, aur utni preparation toh ho chukhi hoogi ki utna toh badega. Uske baad, one question ya fir two question ka bucket karo. So two questions and then two questions. 14 questions, aapko lagta hai ki yaar, you know what, mein ek bhi question nahi kar paunga. Aur agar mene kiya bhi ek hat question, even if I attempt one question out of 20 question, I might get it wrong. And if, I, and if you get it wrong, then that's gonna hit you because, understand this, when you solve 14 questions and one goes wrong, that's scenario number one. And when you attempt 18 questions and one go wrong, the intensity when you talk about the scaling of one question going wrong on 14 is quite higher. So in this case, your rank, your score, percentage will go But when you have 18 questions, all correct, close by, taking a chance of one question going wrong is absolutely fine. So the strategy is, your first skill should be 8 to 10 questions out of 34 doable, around se doable, easily doable. I give you one hour to do so. See, it's basically 80% help per jana. Right? I know you want 90, 95, but for that you should be attending more questions. So 8 to 10 questions attempt doa, ho gaya, sorted, be happy because you are just blessed now. Simple. Then two questions, aagaya, more than happy, you are 90 plus. Two more questions, you are 95 plus. 14 done and the Yes, if you are somebody who could do 14 questions in 40 minutes, awesome. Go for two more questions. You will be 16, you will be above 17%. If you are 97%, sorry. If you are somebody who could get, let's say, 15 questions in 45 minutes, for the next 15 minutes, either solve one question or go for two questions, you will be close to 99. So that's going to be my strategy for jumping from 70, 80 to 90, 95, and from 95 to 99 or 99.99. Try this out in next two to three mocks. I will be making same video for DILR and verbal ability and reading comprehension. Now, again, before I move ahead, I'm giving you the disclaimer. This strategy will get completed. You can apply this, no doubt. But the moment I'm going to release one more video, I will tell you 
फाइनल आपका अटेम्प्ट क्या होगा देन दिस स्ट्रेटेजी विल मेक इवन मोर सेंस टू यू सो गाइज आई विल बी मेकिंग दिस वीडियो फॉर यू टू मेक योर लाइफ इवन मोर इजियर एंड हेल्प यू टू स्कोर वेरी वेरी न्यू कैट सो इफ यू नॉट सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल फाइनली सब्सक्राइब शो सम लव try to like the uh, you know like the video share the video and let people know about the channel thank you so much that's it from my side guys